I'm in the middle of the Mojave Desert. It's an incredibly harsh environment. In the summertime, temperatures get over 110 degrees Fahrenheit, and in the winter, they drop below freezing. We often go two or three months at a time with no rain here. So you would think this would be an environment incapable of supporting trees or forests. But if we define a tree as an incredibly long-lived plant with a woody trunk and lateral branches, then there are in fact forests here. And one of them is just over this hill. Come see. This is a teddy bear choya. As you can see, it has a long central trunk, lateral branches, and there are thousands of them growing here in a choya forest. This is a different species of cactus than the jumping choya, but it has the same ability to detach its branches. The slightest contact can result in a very unwelcome and painful hitchhiker. If an animal like a bighorn sheep picks up one of these branches, it's going to carry it for a long time because they can be difficult to get off. But eventually, the branch will drop and hit the ground. And when it does, it will send out roots and an entire new plant will grow from that original small limb. The choya and other cacti in this forest have taken extreme measures to protect themselves and conserve water. The spines are one example of this, but they also perform a special type of photosynthesis where they only take in carbon dioxide at night. As a result, they're incredibly slow growing and long lived. A barrel cactus of this size is several hundred years old. It can be hard to tell how old a choya cactus is. You might be wondering why we don't just count the growth rings like you would in the trunk of a maple or a pine tree. Well, this is why. When the choya cactus dies, it leaves behind a skeleton. And you can see that the entire stem was hollow. Choya are beautiful and fascinating plants, but we can't use them to make paper products or to construct buildings. And this choya forest doesn't provide the habitat or carbon oxygen balance of a true forest. And when it comes down to it, the way we typically define trees, choya cacti are not quite true trees because they don't grow to considerable size and their trunk, although it is very hard and wood-like, you could argue about whether or not it's truly woody. True trees are one of our greatest resources, and there is something wonderful happening around trees on YouTube right now. The Arbor Foundation is going to plant one tree for every dollar donated between now and 2020, and you can be a part of this. A donation to the Arbor Foundation does not mean dropping choya limbs to cover the Mojave in choya forests. It means the creation of true forests, temperate, tropical, or boreal, and all the diversity and resources that they provide. The goal is to plant 20 million trees. We're well on our way, and I hope you'll join us and donate. Head over to teamtrees.org to make your pledge. Thanks for watching.